Yeah, I'm Habib Ramirez, and I'm a developer advocate at QuestDB. Uh, I've been speaking about some of the trade-offs we have to make to make our database uh, very performant. So basically, uh, I try to convey the message that you cannot have everything. If you need to be really performant, you have to say no to some things, and you have to do things in a specific way that might not be the easiest, but it's the only way to, to be faster than other existing databases. When our CTO started uh, developing QuestDB, he was a Java developer. He was working at a fintech company in London, and Java is what he knew. And also he was thinking, if I want to develop a database, I want it to be as portable as possible, so we can run in different types of hardware and so on, and Java was a safe bet. As of today, we might have been using a different language. Actually, some of the new modules were writing, they are written in Rust. But, you know, eight years ago, we didn't have it, so that's the main reason. No, uh, you shouldn't. I mean, it really depends. But if for your data patterns, for your volume, our relational database works, that, that's perfect. I wouldn't recommend changing. If you are experiencing some issues because your data is growing too big, your queries are getting too complex because, you know, you need to reason about time, then it might be a good idea to take a look at relational, uh, sorry, at time series databases and QuestDB. But if you're happy with your database, don't, don't change it. Uh, it's, it's super tricky, especially now with no, everything is, is AI. But some things that I see that are not changing but accelerating is that users want to have more and more data and, and way, way faster. So I see a trend on trying to be very, uh, very performant still and, and trying to reduce latency between ingestion and, and querying. Uh, actually, in, in my talk, I mentioned that one of the things we like about QuestDB when compared with some other time series databases is that we try to be performant also in the smaller machines. And we see, we, we hear that feedback often from users that when they adopt QuestDB and they are coming from other time series databases, they can have, uh, you know, they can do the same with a smaller machine, which is, means you're going to be consuming less energy. And I think that's pretty good because, you know, we should really reduce down on how we are abusing energy these days. It's my first time. I, I, I knew a lot of people that have been attending and presenting here in the past for one reason or another or pandemics. I couldn't be here earlier, but yeah, I, I definitely will try to be here again next year. Thank you.